Skies are still mostly cloudy out there, but we're warming up more than we did yesterday because this time around we've got southerly winds and they're pretty steady at 11 miles per hour right now. So we're at 40 degrees, which is already warmer than we were yesterday by about 5 to 10 degrees in spots. Yesterday we got stuck in the 30s, so we're making progress. That warming trend is starting to kick despite the cloud cover. It's 41 degrees in Rawa, 38 in Ava, 38 in Mountain Grove, and 41 degrees in West Plains right now. Again, we're still mostly cloudy. Cloudy. There's still some light sprinkles up top around Clinton. There's a couple of peaks of sun in there, but uh, we'll keep the clouds through most of the day today because what we're tracking is this weak front and a little weak hiccup upstairs in the atmosphere that's getting closer. And what we'll find is some light spotty showers breaking out, but I really don't expect much out of this at all. Most of us wind up staying dry and just a little bit cloudy. So Hour by hour, we keep the mostly cloudy skies, temperatures close to average in the low to middle 40s. Again, we're already almost there at 40 degrees now in Springfield. A couple of showers possible by this evening, and then the issue here is, is once temperatures cool towards freezing overnight, some of this light rain shower can maybe be some light flurries or light freezing drizzle, but it will be so spotty and light, I don't expect widespread road impacts at all. Maybe a slick spot or two, especially bridges and overpasses. Otherwise, just some clouds by tomorrow morning and temperatures near 30 degrees. Those clouds clear in the afternoon. We'll have mostly sunny skies and that warming trend starting to get more of a boost. That temperature at 50 degrees uh, by tomorrow afternoon. Now that warming trend will continue to pop as we had through the weekend. We're looking at those temperatures getting even warmer on Super Bowl Sunday as that big area of high pressure gets into the Ozarks. In fact, by Sunday, I'm forecasting a high of 68 degrees. The record is 74 from 2003. So likely not hitting the record, but we'll be within five or so degrees from the records in most of our areas here. Average, of course, is 44 degrees will be way above average. So you could probably take part of your party for the Super Bowl outside. Fire up the grill. Temperatures in the 50s with sunshine for tailgating. We'll get those uh, temperatures in the middle 60s around kickoff and that high will be about 68 degrees. Now in Miami they're looking at quiet conditions as well which is important. Hard Rock Stadium is partially open mostly sunny skies warm clear and dry through the game so good call for that weather on the field. Now when we're looking at temperatures in Miami they've been warming through the football seasons since 1970. They've warmed two and a half degrees and often when you talk about warming temperatures for a coastal community like Miami comes a discussion of sea level rise this is a look at what Super Bowl 104 would look like uh, in the year 2070, where this is a depiction of what it would look like if you put six feet of water on top of the highest tide. And you can see the stadium there is flooded, flooding that they do see happening now with some sea level rise. Mostly cloudy skies today, 44 degrees, maybe some light rain showers late. Uh, could mix with either some snow or maybe some light freezing drizzle tonight. Again, most areas dry would drop to 29 degrees. 50 tomorrow, mostly sunny and warmer. That really warm day will be on Super Bowl Sunday. Temperatures about 20 to 25 degrees above average with sunshine. Increasing clouds on Monday. Our next cold front brings some showers on Tuesday.